So now I want to show you real quick how you can you can do the same thing, but for but for creating a post. So I think a, a really nice place to put to put a form to create a post will be on the post page. So let's go to view posts. So here we have my blog page, and this is all my posts. So I want to create here a f another button, same thing that I have on that I have here, but to create a post. So let's go into my posts archive. And hold on one second, Elementor is loading. Now go into ACF, pull it in again, and now here it will it will basically t the same thing. So here I'm not going to put edit post. I'm going to put create post. Uh, create post. Create post. Title. Now what it gives me is the it gives me the title of the first post. That's because here on my form actions I have edit post. So take that off and create put a new post. So now it doesn't give me any title because new posts don't have titles. Now say post. The, the new the new post type will be post. The new post status will be published. Reload after submit, like I talked about before, the form post URL. It will take you to the new posts URL. And and now show the show the content field. Again, it doesn't look so hot, but that's okay. And wait, so form fields, form fields, select a field group. Select the blog posts field group. And that, that way we'll show you categories. And instead of update, say publish. Publish and put this, even though I don't have any image fields. And this also will put into a modal. Create, and we'll say create post as a button. Create, um, create or write post. Right, uh, post, and where is the button? Here it is. Write a post, and now go into advanced settings and custom positioning. Go into fixed everything we did before. I'm going to width, put an on inline auto, put this on the right, put this on the bottom, give it a little bit of offset. There we go. There, there we go. Let's give it 15% offset. And make sure it's on inline auto, auto. Otherwise, it will just be. Yeah, it won't, have, it won't make a difference if it's on the right or on the left. Put inline auto as a width. And there we go. There we go. Now, okay, I'll just show you. Let's, let's preview the post page. Wait. Go into blog. Blog. Okay, great. So now we're on the blog page. We have a write write a post. Open that up. My new post. My new post. Content. Hello. World. Categories. Elementor tips and publish. So now it will re it will take me to my new post. I create a new post and oh I should have created a thumb thumbnail because here it doesn't have a thumbnail even. Let's go to the blog, let's see it. Here's my new post that have a thumbnail. So I'll tell you what you can do. Go into the field group, 
here's my field group for blog post out of field and add a image field now say featured image and under the name say thumbnail ID okay, and make sure you have underscore thumbnail underscore ID okay so now and now put this above update And now when I, let's go back into my new post. And since I don't have a, th I don't have a thumbnail, I have to go and edit, edit the new post. And I can edit it right here. Choose an image. Choose this image. Update post. And there we go. There I have my my thumbnail ID and now it's the it's also the it's also the featured image so you see I, I see it over here now I'm gonna delete this post before any of my clients see this on my website delete and it's gonna ask me if I'm sure I want it and I'm gonna say yeah I want to delete it now I can't find the page that we're on because we deleted it, and that's that's it. That's uh, that's it. well. And I want to show you the last thing is on the blog page. You have also you have the option now to create to to put the featured image. See, so you have everything you need for a post: title, content, featured image, and categories. And make sure you put this as the as the name of the field. Otherwise, it won't make it into the featured image. And it probably won't show up on the on the blog page. Okay, and that's that's just about it. Thank you for down and downloading and installing my plugin. I'm really excited about it. And uh, keep keep on keep bringing me the questions, and I'll, I'll be happy to to assist with anything that you might need.